I'm going to start out with these uh, garden lights. They have, you can buy them for a buck each at the, at the dollar store. I bought these online. They're a buck each. They come with a solar cell right at the top, just like that. Um, they have a little LED light right in here and they light up at night when there's no sun on the solar cell. This is what they look like. You just stick them in the ground. And um, they're really a great source of uh, solar cells and batteries and the way that I can charge these up uh, very inexpensively. Let me show you how you, uh, you remove it in order to make it uh, useful. Now as I'm just grabbing it here and here and I'm going to twist this. I twist it off like that and I remove the, the stand and when I turn it over I see I have a, a little LED right here. That's the light emitting dial that will light up. And I have two screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove these two screws right here. Okay, just bear with me. Screws. And now what I can do is I can take it off the metal casing and lift this out and look on the inside of it. And what I see on the inside is I see a AAA battery. It's a rechargeable battery. All this for a dollar. This right here is a circuit board that contains the voltage regulator, uh, the, the diode for preventing it from discharging. And then this part right here, this part right here is the, is the solar cell, this guy. So what I can do is that I can put it out in the yard as a stake and then uh, in the evening just bring it in and then pull this battery out and now I'll have a completely charged battery. If I'm concerned in leaving it out overnight, uh, what will happen is that the solar, there's a little uh, uh, light sensitive resistor here that will switch the, uh, the LED on. And if the LED comes on, it will be lit and it will start discharging the battery. And I really don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of wire cutters. Since I don't want the LED coming on, I just want this to charge up my battery. And I'm going to simply clip off. Here's my wire cutters. I'm simply going to clip off the, uh, the LED. It won't hurt anything. Okay, so the LED is now clipped off. So now this will continue to charge the battery for as long as it's needed. But now we need to talk about some of these different batteries, and that's what we're going to do next. This is the battery that I pulled out of the lamp that comes with it. And if I read the specs on it, what it says is that it's one point, it's a AAA 1.2 uh, volt battery and it has a 200 milliamps per hour. Now 200 milliamps per hour isn't much current to give out. In other words, if you're charging this battery up and you're going to use it in one of your appliances that takes uh, uh, AAA batteries, or we'll see how to boost up the battery voltage later, it won't last very long. But it's a very inexpensive rechargeable battery, as you would expect since the whole unit only costs a dollar. The kind of rechargeable battery you want is something that has a lot of power. Now this thing here is almost 50% uh, or 75% more power than the previous battery that I showed you. This is a rechargeable battery, same voltage, 1.2 volts. But now it has 1,100 milliamps per hour, which is 1.1 amps per hour. And uh, this has a lot more power. It'll last a lot longer in whatever kind of device that you wish to use it in. So these batteries here cost about a buck or two, depending. Sometimes you can find them on sale at, at uh, Amazon.com. All right, so let's sh let me show you how you can boost the voltage um, on using these high energy batteries.
I'm going to start with now in order to build up voltages. I'm going to start with a, a dual AAA battery holder. Now they come in where I can get four of the AAA batteries together. And one of the things you want to see about these holders is that the batteries are connected in series. Like for example, um, here's the negative end and here's the positive end. The positive end is connected to the negative end here which goes to the positive end. When you connect batteries in series, their voltages will add. So each of these batteries is 1.2 volts. So it should be, if I put two of these in series, I should get on the output on these leads 2.4 volts. And in that way, I stepped up my voltage. Now what I've got here is I've got these batteries, uh, these high, uh, high capacity batteries, and I have them all hooked up in series. I have them on this breadboard, uh, proto board with a, some little binding posts. And you don't have to do it this way. You can solder them together or alligator clip them together. The important thing is always to remember to connect the plus to the minus and then the, um, the minus to the plus and the plus to the minus and the minus to the plus. Uh, that way the voltages will be adding. Now let me give you an example. I'm going to touch this right here, those two batteries, and I look at my meter reading, and my reader, meter reading is 2.5 volts. And they're each 1.2 volts, and, and 2 times 1.2 is 2.4, and they're, I'm getting a little bit more than, uh, than their actual rating. Now if I come over here where I have four of them in series, right here, I'm going to check these are these four that are in series. I now get a nice solid five volts out of these uh, AAA batteries. And if I go over here to the next series here, I now get almost seven and a half volts. Now I could build this up to 12 volts by using 10 of these batteries, just connecting them all in series using these little battery holders. And each individual battery I can charge on my solar cell charger now. So if I hook up 10 of these in series, I'll get a total of 12 volts at pretty high amperage. The, the current that I'll actually get out will be a little bit less than this 1.1 amp or 1100 milliamps. The reason why is that each of these batteries has an internal resistance. We try to keep it low when they manufacture it, but nevertheless, there is an internal resistance. And since these are all in series, the internal resistance will um, increase uh, for the battery. So the output current will be a little bit less than if I were just using one of these. But this is the way to take AAA batteries that have a high capacity that can be charged off a very inexpensive uh, solar cell arrangement and then disconnected from the solar cell, hooked up in series to give me a 6 volt or a 12 volt output. I have outside my uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, my 10 1.2 volt uh, batteries getting charged up. And uh, after they've had a good charge, depending on the device that I use them in, they'll last a very long time and it's all free energy and they can go through hundreds and hundreds of charging and and discharging cycles. So at the end of the day, in the evening time, I'll pick these up and go ahead and use them where I need to use them. Okay.